Yeah, Tony. <laughs> hey. How you doing, man? Uh, better than I deserve. Better than I deserve. It's a good day. Um, what are you doing? Um, what it is, this is port matching when we get prototype <laughs> engines. Um, they're, these are, they're, um, well, there's only a handful of them in the world. And as a tuner, what I'm expected to do is actually finish it. Uh, the core of the engines are manufactured uh, very exclusively. There's some, um, we, uh, I built engines for Yamato of Japan. I built uh, for Koenig of Germany. And this one is uh, BRP of Italy. Uh, but basically, what these are, are alternative fuel engines. We run on ethanol or methanol or, um, and uh, basically I use vegetable oil for that, going for lubrication, castor bean oil, believe it or not, growing right down here in, in Jacksonville, Florida. But the idea is when the engine's actually running, um, it's virtually carbon zero, okay? I know that sounds very trite. Everybody says, oh, we want to be green. We want to... This is actually practically how you can do it. It's not about carrying a sign. It's not about wearing a cool T-shirt. Or it's not about, you know, riding your 10-speed to the lake instead of driving your truck. It's about real solutions for, for the world today. Um, come on, I'll just give you an idea of uh, what we're doing. All right. Now, remember... I want to tell you a little secret about Dag on uh, about electric cars. We talk about electric. Oh, that's the greatest thing. Greatest thing. Electric cars. Electric cars are the greatest thing. But they've been around since uh, since the beginning of cars. Some of the first electric trolley cars in, in San Francisco and all, all these were electric. Some of the first electric cars were electric. But what um, what happened was it's a matter of concentrated. It's a matter of concentrated Dag on energy. The electric car simply couldn't carry enough energy for a long way. Uh, to travel any realistic distance. So what happened was the internal combustion car or the ability to carry that energy as liquid fuel, well, that greatly outstripped the electric car in the beginning, and, uh, and then it became the way to find the cheapest kind of fuel, which turned out to be hydrocarbon or carbon fuel. I want you to understand so that carbon is the building block of, of everything in our world. We are carbon-based creatures, everything. Wasting carbon, wasting carbon is almost incomprehensible. Um, but we've been doing it for years, and that's what all the hullabaloo is allowed about because we're unleashing carbon that's been trapped in the earth and all that. Everything that you hear is true. Now, the, the clanging of the bell and the emergency gong and all that, well, probably not so much. That's just about how to sell your political viewpoint. But the deal is, it is real. Now, what happens is, is uh, the first thing we have to do is make, uh, car, make, make that go... Uh, things like uh, electric cars, um, fun. Well, the first thing, the electric car's been around forever, but it doesn't have to look like a golf cart. Elon Musk made an electric car, cool. And so here we're going to make alternative fuel outboard motors, or alternative fuel boats, cool. Come on, I'll show you one. This boat, this is, uh, this is called Showtime. <laughs> This is, this is, we have national international patents. We actually have a patent for this thing in like 17 countries, I think, including Japan. But basically what this is, is this is a section of the, uh, of the racing boat. This right here, we have treated exhaust. Now, if I were arranging a fishing motor, this would be much more compact and we would use catalytic converters, but we would release all of our exhaust above the water. Uh, what happens is, is we really, I can't express highly enough how important it is uh, to release our own sound and our own gases into our world, not the aquatic world. See, we've been burying our, that's like burying your head in the sand 
Um, anybody's ever heard of an outboard motor on land and how incredibly loud it is, well, that's what we put underwater. And underwater sound travels so much more farther, and so and, uh, uh, you can hear the, 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 the you can, with a good hydrophone, you can hear the east coast of the United States almost to England. Uh, we are just so ungodly loud. Um, and, and again, this is a problem. We are only just now beginning to understand uh, what this can really mean, how, uh, what it can really do. Whales beaching themselves. We, have, we disturb every, everywhere we go. We disturb the place. Now, the whole idea... Uh, the whole idea behind our company and what we do is to blend a mechanized society into a natural world to the benefit of both. We do not have to give up. I mean, I like my inside of my house. I like air conditioning. I like my truck. I like, and, and these things are necessary. Um, but again, uh, uh, they don't have to make the impact that they do. Tony, let me show you something right here. And y'all probably, there are other videos have seen this, but I can't, I keep this right here. These are some of the patents I have. Uh, but basically, this is a this is a 150 horsepower uh, outboard motor, and this is a 300 horsepower outboard motor. This dumps its exhaust under the water, and this just skims along the surface of the water, dipping one blade of the propeller in at a time. And the the wildlife, when we have a regatta, this with the, using these boats with this racing out, the the fish will come where the where the race is. It's the most amazing thing, because we do nothing but stir the top of the water and dissolve oxygen. Now, I think that we can adapt that to a, to a fishing motor. I think that'd be very attractive, because most of your big offshore boats now, uh, the fast ones are all using uh, surface-piercing drives. And uh, what I've done is create uh, an outboard motor that adapts itself very clearly to a surface-piercing drive. Um, Basically, what we're going to do this year with Showtime, our, our hydroplane here, um, is we're going to take this patented diagonal apparatus here, which allows the power head to stay perfectly still and just the lower unit turn. And also, we can have uh, the lower unit raise and fall uh, automatically. Uh, but what we're going to do, um, we're going to go out and alter on alternative fuels uh, using vegetable oil. We're going to go out and set a few records and win a few races. And uh, that's what we're about to do now. In the next video, I'll show you a little bit more about the boat. But that's probably enough for today. Um, but anyway, thanks, Tony. Thanks for dropping by. You bet, buddy. Thank you.